Welcome back to So You Really Want to Learn Latin and today we are going to look at our final tense of the subjunctive which is the pluperfect subjunctive. Okay, now it's another easy one. Uh, I'm going to say that categorically. I don't think you're going to have any trouble with this at all. So to form the pluperfect subjunctive of any verb you go to the perfect stem and you add isem. So uh, think of amo, we've got uh, amo, amare, amawi. Okay, so the third principal part, amawi, chop off the eye, and you've got that stem, amawa, ending in a v, and you add isem. So you get amawisem, and then off you go, amawisem, amawisais, amawiset. Amar we samus, amar we satis, amar we sent. Okay, and that works with any verb. So monio goes monio, monere, monui, monuisem, monuises, monuiset, monuis samus, monuis satis, monuis sent. Okay, rego, rego, regory, rexi, rexisem, rexisais, rexiset, and so on. Okay. Doesn't matter how irregular the verb is. Think of one of our little pigs, uh, ferro, ferro, ferre, tully, latum. Okay, pretty weird. Third principal part, tully, tullisem, tullisais, tulliset, tullisamus, tullisatis, tullisent. Okay, so that is the pluperfect subjunctive active. You just add isem to the perfect stem. Okay? It couldn't really be much easier. Now in the passive, uh, again it's pretty easy. The pluperfect indicative passive of a verb, you will remember, is the PPP plus the imperfect tense of sum. So for example we had a martus eram, meant I had been loved. Okay? To form the pluperfect subjunctive passive, instead of adding the imperfect indicative of sum, eram, you add the imperfect subjunctive of sum, which is sm. So we get amatus sm, amatus essays, amatus esset, amati. A samus, a marti, a satis, a marti, a cent. Ooh, there's a fly. Uh, so that is the pluperfect subjunctive passive. Okay? PPP, change them to us, make us agree, all that normal stuff you do with these uh, passive tenses of the perfect, future perfect, and pluperfect. Um, but instead of adding either sum or eram, you're going to be adding the imperfect subjunctive, sm, s a s et, s a m s s a t s s n t. And again, that works however irregular the verb. So our old friend, ferro, ferro, ferry, tully, latum. Okay, latum is the PPP of ferro. Change rum to us and you get latus. So we go latus sm, latus s a s, latus s et. Lati esamus, lati esatus, lati esent. And those are the pluperfect subjunctive passive forms of ferro. Okay? Now, pluperfect subjunctive, what does it mean? Well, we use the word might. Okay, so amar wisem, amar wisais, amar wiset, which is the pluperfect subjunctive active of Amo, those forms mean I might have loved, you might have loved, he might have loved. Okay, and in the passive, I might have been loved, you might have been loved, and so on. Okay, so that's really all there is to know about the pluperfect subjunctive. Um, now, when do you use it? The most common use of the pluperfect subjunctive is after the conjunction cum when it means when. Okay, so cum plus the pluperfect subjunctive means when. And we get it in 
sentences like Cum hoc fecisem, when I had done this. Okay, now, I mean, it may seem quite a lot of learning of a new tense just so that we can use it after cum. Uh, I mean, you, we, as we go on through the course, we will find other ways in which we use the pluperfect subjunctive. But for now, really, you know, you know how to form it now, really, really easy. You will see it a lot after cum, meaning when something had happened or when something had been done. Um, and apart from that, that's really all there is to it. So another easy lesson. OK, so just to recap now on the subjunctive, we've done all four tenses. The present subjunctive, if you remember, is the one that uses the wrong vowel. Uh, so a mem, a mes, a met, a memus, a metis, a ment is using an e, which is completely wrong for ammo. Uh, or moniam, monias, moniat, moniamus, moniartis, moniant, which is using an a, which is completely wrong for money. OK, so... Present subjunctive, use the wrong vowel. Imperfect subjunctive, dead slugs on Mars can do it. You just add an M to the present infinitive. So amarem, amores, amoret, or monerem, moneres, moneret, or, you know, sm, s-a-s-s-s, whatever the present infinitive is, add an M, and that is the imperfect subjunctive. Perfect subjunctive is the one that looks exactly or almost exactly like the future perfect tense, uh, apart from in the first person singular. So amarwerim rather than amarwero, but apart from that, it's the same, apart from the vowel is long. So amarwerim, amarweris, amarwerit, amarwerimus, amarweritis, amarwerint. Okay, that's the perfect subjunctive, looks very, very similar to the future perfect. And finally, the pluperfect subjunctive we've just done, go to the uh, perfect stem and add isem. So amar wisem, amar wises, amar wiset. Okay, another way of thinking about that, by the way, is if you know the perfect infinitive active of a verb, uh, so Amawisse means to have loved. Add an M to that and you get Amawissem. And then that is the pluperfect subjunctive. It doesn't matter which way you think of it, you get the same result. So that's it. You know, we can do our subjunctives. We can do them in the active. We can do them in the passive. Next time we're going to have a look at some uh, temporal clauses and causal clauses. Some of them use subjunctives, some of them don't. But until then, keep up the good work on your Latin. Do go back and revise all the stuff we've done so far. Uh, I always uh, like to write things down as a way of remembering them. Get yourself a nice little notebook, write out your tenses, write out your nouns, write out your verbs, make sure you've got it absolutely nailed. And I will see you back on this channel very soon.